Okay, I've got a match prediction and tennis trading tip for you on Betfair. It is from the WTA Finals, Sabalenka against Pagula. I'm not just going to give you the tip, I'm going to show you how I came to that decision. And if you find the video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, let's take a look. They've played five times before. Sabalenka's won the last four. Most recent was at the year-end finals last season. She won that in straight sets. The other wins were all on clay, all straight sets. Pagula won on a hard court in 2020. And that one went to three. Win percentages on hard courts for the last 12 months and also this year. Barely even. They do favour Sabalenka. 12-month return on investment is better for Sabalenka. And Pagula has a slight lead on the ROI for 2023. Let's take a look at their results in the last 12 months. Sabalenka this week played Sakari, lost just one game. Quarterfinals in Beijing. Final at the US Open. Semi-final Cincinnati. Quarterfinals in Miami, she reached the final in Indian Wells, quarterfinals in Dubai. And she won the title at the Australian Open and also the title in Adelaide. And you can see at last year's finals, she did actually re reach the final of the finals. Gula, she beat uh, Rybakina in straight sets in the first match of the week. Rybakina did serve for the first set, but after that, when she was broken serving for it, she only then won two more games in the match. Gula took the title in Seoul. She reached the final in Tokyo, fourth round at the US Open. Title in Montreal, semis in Washington, semis in Miami. Fourth round in Indian Wells, semis in Dubai. Final in Doha, quarterfinals at the Australian Open. And you can see at the bottom there, Fort Worth, the WTA finals last year. She lost all three of her round robin matches. I think it's the first time she'd played there. Not an uncommon pattern for players who are making the first appearance at the uh, year-end finals that they don't actually do very well and often lose all three of their round-robin matches. Okay, let's take a look at the stats. We want hard court one year. Main tour's already selected. Okay, we can see Sabalenka leads service hole percentage. First serve points, one. Second serve points, one percentage, favours Pagula, as does predicted holds. That pattern usually suggests Sabalenka to win in three. Take a look at uh, three months. Okay, that looks like the same pattern. So service holds, again, better for Sabalenka. She leads first serve points, one percentage. Pagula has second serve points, one percentage. Return stats and also predicted holes. So again, suggesting Sabalenka in three. And we'll look at the last 30 days. And that's the same pattern again. So stats strongly suggesting Sabalenka to take it in three. From a trading point of view, Sabalenka, when I did the notes, 156 this morning. Looking to back Sabalenka around 2.1 to 2.2. Take the liability out at 1.6. And I do think there's a decent chance of three sets. Good luck if you get involved. And I'll see you on the next one.